Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to get the four relics and how to upgrade them. Let's get right into it. Our first relic is the MMA boxing gloves. But to find the obelisk, what you want to do is you want to find the cargo ship on the map and climb on top of it. You can either use the scorcher to just fly on top of it or you can uh, do what I did here and go to the back of the ship, do a little bit of parkour and hop onto it. But once you reach the obelisk, what you're going to do is you're going to activate it and it will give you an insta kill. With that insta kill, you're going to punch all the zombies around it until you see the obelisk break and explode. And then you open up the reward rift and there you go, the boxing gloves. Our second relic is the mirror. What you want to do is once you escort the uh, payload a little bit, you want to run over here to this location and look into the fog to see if you see the obelisk. It's quite hard because it's just super foggy, and but you can see me here find the obelisk barely sticking out of the smoke and running over to it. But once you find the obelisk, you want to go up to it and activate it, and it's going to give you one of three different ammo types. Cryo Freeze, Deadbolt, or Brain Rot. Depending on which is the obelisk the zombies are glowing, it will give you what type of ammo mod you'll be using. So if they're glowing white, it's going to be cryo freeze. If they're glowing green, it's going to be brain rot. If it's going to be blue, it's going to be dead wire. What you want to do is end up killing these zombies with the ammo mod in order for it to be activated and to count towards the obelisk and to complete it. But once you finish all that, you should have the mirror. The third relic is actually from the boss fight. Once you finish pushing the payload and completing the PMD, you'll find yourself with the boss fight in the middle of the arena. It's not that hard to really kill. I use the BP-50 here with Pack-a-Punch Tier 3, but you're able to use whatever weapons or wonder weapons you feel like when you bring in. Pretty much, it'll take a little bit of time. You can do it. I did it solo here, but once you ended up killing him, it'll give you, in the reward with, it'll give you the drum. What it'll also give you is two additional perks in either the new classified blood burner key or a VR11 case. And then the fourth and final relic is actually closer than you see him. It's actually behind the stage. If we run over here, you'll see that the obelisk is actually just in the middle of the stair crossing. And it's just pretty simple. It's a headshot challenge. Once you activate the obelisk, a bunch of zombies will spawn in and you just got to get a bunch of headshots for them. Once it's completed, it'll give you the target. And now I'm going to show you how to upgrade all four of these relics. Our first relic upgrade is at the graveyard. You can find the graveyard at the top right of the map. It'll be on a gravestone next to the side building of the church. To make it easier, what you can do is you can head to the front of the church. There's an ammo cache and you look straight to your left and you'll see the side building and right next to the side building is the gravestone. Go up to the gravestone and you want to offer the relic to it. It'll spawn in the zombie of one of the three ammo types. Next to the building is a glowing silo, which will give you one of the, offer all three of the ammo types. What you want to do is you want to pick up the ammo type that's corresponding to the zombie. Again, white being cryo freeze, blue being dead wire, and green being brain rot. If that zombie doesn't spawn in, it's okay. There's going to... It'll just, re after a certain amount of time, it'll refund the relic right back to you. And then all you have to do is offer it to the gravestone once again. And then it will respawn in the zombie. Once you kill the zombie with the corresponding ammo type, it'll end up dropping the upgraded relic. Pick it up and we're on to the next one. Our second upgrade for the relic is uh, the target. What you want to do is you want to go to Shannon a little bit past Shannon Manor towards the docks and you'll see this little shooting range. At the shooting range, you're going to go up to the target in the center and active offer the relic to it. What's going to happen is six glowing purple targets are going to show up around the shooting range. What you're going to do is you want to shoot all the targets so they turn a glowing red and then a zombie will appear. Same thing like when you're grading the thing, you want to shoot only headshots for the zombie in order to kill it once you kill it it'll drop the upgraded relic and then there'll be the second relic you obtain onto the third and for our third and final relic what you want to do is end up towards the boxing ring as you see here 
what you want to do is you want to go up into the boxing ring in order to offer the relic then you're going to go over to the right of the boxing ring where you see three punching bags what you want to do is you want to melee those bags from left to right doesn't matter what type of melee you use but as long as you do it in that order there will be a zombie that spawns in the middle of the arena and what you're going to do is you want to melee it to death and it'll drop the third and final relic after obtaining all three relics, what you're going to want to do is head to the tier 3 zone. This is going to be a second tornado a little bit further towards the top of the tier 3 zone, which you're going to see all three of the relic statues. Each statue is going to be, have its own corresponding relic on top of the pedestal, which you're going to just put in the glove being on the left, then following by the mirror, and then the drum and then the target once you put all four in an another one of the dark aether rifts are going to put spawn in and then all you have to do is go in unlike the original where it may, uh, a mega abomination came in it's not the same you just go in but that's pretty much how you do it thank you guys for watching and i hope you enjoyed